Some of the newest Oklahomans are still getting used to life in the U.S. News on Six's Erica Lee checked in with a group working with Afghan refugees to learn more about some issues that some have had here. CARE Oklahoma and Catholic Charities have been working hard to help hundreds of Afghan refugees resettle. However, they say they've only received one-fifth of the 1,800 expected. There are about 750 refugees still to come. CARE says they won't know the family sizes until they arrive, but they can range from single individuals up to families of 10 or more. And with this many still to come, it's going to be a long process. So we have to be prepared uh, for the marathon, not just out for the sprint, if you will, in that we need to support them, not just for a period of months, but for many, many years to come. Sultani says the best way to welcome refugees is not just through money, but giving them a feeling of safety and hospitality. He posted on Facebook yesterday about one of the refugees being verbally and physically assaulted. Though she was Indian and not a Muslim, she was called a Muslim terrorist and asked to go back to her country. Would So her neighbors um, actually physically assaulted her in an altercation that took place in her front yard at her home, which is horrific in and of itself. Other than just being kind, those helping refugees say there are still ways we can help. Some things that we are taking and we still need are hygiene items of all kinds uh, because that is a huge need for the refugees coming in. School supplies, also monetary donations are a plus because those help fill in the gaps for things that we don't realize we need immediately. If you'd like to help donate or volunteer, we'll have the links on newson6.com. Reporting in Oklahoma City, Erica Lee, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.